welcome to my channel learn the way so in this video we will going to discuss about the differences in the pulmonary and the systemic circulation the pulmonary circulation is the circulation that is the blood flowing towards the lungs while that of the systemic circulation that we have discussed in a separate video is the circulation throughout the system of all the system of the body now we're going to compare the pressure difference the resistance and the compliance between the two system of the circulations so starting from the first difference that is the difference between the pressure the pulmonary circulation having the low pressure the low pressure is because the blood supply to the lung are at lower pressure and normally the vessels are dilated because there are less blood blood flow to the lungs as compared to the whole system of body that's why the pressure of the pulmonary circulation is lower also in the right ventricle from where the pulmonary trunk arises the pressure is lower in the right ventricle and the vessels that are the pulmonary arteries are also normally dilated they are not constricted because of the high arterial pressure they are normally dilated because of the low pressure while the systemic circulation where the large amount of blood is to be pumped by the left ventricle this is the high pressure blood the blood flowing to the systemic circulation is at the higher pressure so there is a pressure difference in between two circulatory systems now coming to the resistance the resistance is low in the pulmonary circulation because this resistance is about 1/10 of the resistance as compared to systemic circulation and the arterioles have the low uh, less amount of smooth muscles the smooth muscles that are present in the arterioles are important for the constriction and dilatation of these arteries and they are also providing somewhat resistance for the constriction so when these muscles are less in number there will be low resistance to the constriction and the arteries will going to less resist the blood flow that's why the resistance and the pressure in the pulmonary circulation is low as compared to systemic circulation while that of the systemic circulation having a higher number of smooth muscles are around the arteries and the higher pressure causing the increased resistance to the blood flow and this increased resistance will also obstruct the blood flow The third important difference is about the compliance. The compliance is the amount of the blood accommodate in the uh, organ that can be lung or in the system circulation it can be other systems of body through the heart. So the lung compliance having the high lung compliance because the lungs can accommodate about high amount of the blood and there will be more amount of the blood will be accommodated in the lungs and for the exchange of the uh, exchange of the carbon dioxide and oxygen there should be a particular amount of blood supply to the lungs so the lungs can having a high compliance and they can accommodate large amount of the blood volume while that of systemic circulation the blood is distributed to the other systems of the body as we have discussed in the functional part of the circulatory system in which the systemic circulation have different parts including arterioles the venules uh, the capillaries uh, so these are all the systems divided from systemic circulation so the blood is distributed in the arterioles like 64% in the systemic circulation then in the arterioles then the capillary 7% of the blood is distributed so the blood is distributed in the different parts of the systemic circulation so that's why these different parts having that low amount of the blood because blood is wholly distributed in the systemic circulation that's why the circulatory system that is the system circulatory system having a less compliance that is the less blood volume in this system in the systemic circulation the accommodation of the blood is less because the also because of the increased resistance so this is a second important reason of increase uh, decrease compliance the resistance was increased that we have discussed in upper upper points that increased pressure and the increased resistance will also going to decrease the blood volume because less amount of the blood will flow throughout the systems and more amount of the blood will flow to the heart that's why there will decrease compliance in the blood volume of the uh, heart systemic circulation so these were about general differences between the systemic and the pulmonary circulation that includes the resistance compliance and the pressure you can say the pressure is directly related with the resistance but inversely related with the blood volume and that's what pulmonary circulation is a low pressure circulation while that of a systemic circulation is a very high pressure circulation so this was about your explanation and i hope you'll be explained well thank you for watching subscribe for more you can get our notes on our facebook page So don't forget to subscribe and comment below.